I've always done it. I, I would stay in at recess and write stories. I will work in 25 minute bursts and I just get lost in what I'm doing. I write all my dialogue separately and I like making certain my dialogue is distinct from the narrator's voice and the character's voice. Your great granddaddy was the Tin Man. It means you got metal in your blood, son. It means you owe that poor mismonikered soul a visit through the perplexiglass. Give yourselves a chance to settle things. Man to mirror. I'm just curious to see how these characters are refracted through the imaginations of the filmmakers. I'm Scott Krensky. I'm the director of this project. One of the things I love about Craig's work in general, it's very much questions the nature of reality, uh, the nature of memory, and how that affects us in our day-to-day -day life. And I'm, I'm extremely fascinated by those topics. I'm Chris McGilbrey, and I am the producer and director of photography of this film. What Chris and I are trying to do with Six Finger Films is make films that are visual films, that are visceral worlds that we can create on a really tight budget. The world of Icarus and Twenty Long is a very unique world that kind of questions the nature of reality. This is a story of a man on a mission from God who is awaiting his final instruction. And we come across him as he is in the lair of this underground street surgeon who has sort of questionable motives. Icarus believes he's an angel. He is not your daddy's angel. He does not like his human form, which he refers to as being wrapped in monkey leather. He's got a different beat on, on reality. Twenty Long is an underground street surgeon. He has taken over a collapsed bunker underneath the city and converted it into a surgical theater with scavenged materials. Kind of something out of a Tom Waits nightmare. <laughs> the word doctor doesn't ring out like it once did. In a time when a man relied on hard work and horse sense. You improvised with what tools you had and there was no substitute for elbow grease. I know my way into the skin. Not as good as some, but better than most. They do a very strange dance for a couple of chapters and go their separate ways. This chapter was logistically workable as a short film, but also it's just the right length with its own miniature arc inside of the larger story arc. The novel's not even finished yet, so it will give viewers a real inside look at the development of these characters. We like to make films that really challenge the audience to engage. We want to challenge their worldviews and the, the conventions of typical narrative. This world is so unique. It's such a visceral experience. It's unlike anything you've seen before. I trust these guys. I have faith that they are going to do right by my work. As more and more media gets centralized and conglomerated, it's going to get harder and harder for independent artists to punch through that membrane. So crowdsourcing is where the rubber meets the road. That's where the artists and their audience come together and agree on something. And That's a fantastic thing. The content that people want to see gets made, right? It's not bound by the decisions of somebody worrying about how many theaters they can fill. We're looking for funding because a crucial part of this film will be the art direction. There's really no location that we could just step into and actually start shooting in. We have to literally design every single element of that world. Hire a professional crew, professional cast, location rentals, equipment rentals. Any help we can get would be greatly appreciated. We really went out of our way to be able to come up with unique and specific rewards to, you know, really say thank you. And if we're lucky enough to actually be able to reach our goal, we're going to be so excited to be able to share our vision with all the people who helped us create it. I think as a finished film, once these guys are done with it it, it, it will stand out. It will take the audience a place they haven't been before, and that's what good books and films do. What's he do with all that birds?